Hey everyone, so I'm just back from Derek Akora's two, two Visions tour at the Sunderland Empire and I was going to wait until this, the tomorrow morning to do this video, as you can tell it is late, it's after 11, my head's all over the place. I was going to wait until tomorrow morning to do this video because I wanted to look a little bit more presentable than I do now, but I just absolutely have to do this. I have been an admirer of Derek's work since I was 12, I'm now 19. Seven years I was longing to see him and I knew it would be a good evening. I never in a million years thought it would turn out to be as perfect as it, as it was tonight. It was absolutely sensational. Now, I'd never been to a, a demonstration like that, so I really didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how it was going to work. I thought, the way people described it, it was like Derek would talk to somebody in the audience and give him a message from a loved one. And I thought, how is that enjoyable for the people around them? But it was absolutely sensational. And it was, it was in two parts, each one about an hour. So it was about half seven till about ten to ten with a 15-20 minute break in the middle and in a way it was a case of he talked to individual audience members and gave them messages from loved ones but it wasn't like oh this person is thinking this there you go you the way he talked both to the spirits who came forward for the people in the audience to the audience members and to everybody even who had no direct connection to the spirit we felt like we suddenly somehow knew the spirit one of my one of the ones I remember most was somebody called Rose um, apparently she was a heavy smoker in her time, she lived till I think Derek said 78 years old and she was quite a, a snooty woman and only after about two minutes of Derek conferring with this, this Rose, this spirit and um, the people in the audience who connected with her you felt like you knew who Rose was and you felt like Rose had been part of your life as well you really were sucked into it completely both emotionally and um, sort of literally as well there were a couple of funny bits as well, obviously it depended on the audience members, some of them were kind of shy, not really wanting to speak and cooperate, but some of them were a hoot. So a, a, a one woman especially, um, if for some reason you're watching this video, you're the woman with the tattoo of an eye on your back, um, just if you're watching this, absolutely sensational, you are absolutely brilliant. And so it's, and Derek's a very lively person, he seems quite a scary person on television, but he is so lively, so funny. He's always making jokes. He is an absolute sensation to watch. I love him very dearly. I was actually supposed to go and see him when I was 14 or 15, but I got grounded, <laughs> so I couldn't go. So I'm so pleased that now, seven years into first discovering him, I've seen him. If you do get a chance to go on, or not, not necessarily just his tour, True Visions tour, any of his evenings, anything like that, go and do take up the opportunity. Just to say that you've seen Derek Accor in flesh is enough of an achievement. I was front row. I sat front row. I wasn't going to go otherwise. I was like, I've got to get front row. And then afterwards, um, he does signings and things at the end. So he can go and stand there. And I was the last one in the queue for the signing. And I was so worried that he was going to leave. Like, you know, like he'd have to go off in a hurry or somewhere to get somewhere. I was so worried that, but he didn't. He waited until everybody had been seen. And because I was the last one there, well, my friends and I were the last ones there, I felt so open to talk to Derek about things. And I said things to Derek which I probably wouldn't normally say to a, a some just somebody who I know personally. And I think he really brings it out in you. He brings out a confidence in me, which is kind of weird. Um, he did say some things to me which I'm going to keep private, um, something personal to me. And I'm glad that there was nobody else there except my friend to hear those. Um, and welcome to the crew members and things from the Acora Productions. But yeah, I just had an absolutely fantastic evening. So much more sensational than I ever thought it would be. As I said, it was what, seven, eight, nine, two and a half hours, give or take, and it was just sensational. I laughed, I nearly cried, oh, it was brilliant. I Nobody came through for me, um, apparently, and this is a really weird concept if you're not sucked into it, and especially if you're a skeptic, but if you're a skeptic, by the way, please try and be open-minded. But it was like there was, we ran out of time, but there was still a queue of spirits who wanted to come forth for people. So I'd like to think that in that queue of spirits who we didn't get a chance to speak to, there was somebody there for me. I don't know if there would have been. I know who I'd like to have been there if there was somebody there for me. And don't worry, it's not like a celebrity or anything. It is somebody who I would know personally, kind of. Um, but I'm not, you know, you don't, even if you're thinking, well, if I don't get spoken to, it's going to be rubbish. You will love it. It's very entertaining, highly hilarious, and it, you wouldn't expect it to be, but it is. Derek has such gorgeous stage presence. He is fantastic. He's so kind. He's so lovely. He's so easy to talk to. I wasn't, I was like, I don't get starstruck, but I sometimes get a little 
I talk too much, quite the opposite. I don't clam up when I'm nervous. I talk really, really fast and, you know, I spill out loads of words that don't even make sense. I was worried that was going to happen because I'm such an admirer of him. But on the contrary, it was like, it was fine. I was just me and I was so happy and he said some things to me which made me really, really happy. And as some of you will know, I do believe every word he says. And that may sound narrow-minded as if I'm just saying whatever Derek says goes. Obviously, if he said something completely extravagant, like in the morning, a cloud will fall from the sky. Some things, you know, something that's totally insane, I'd maybe think, hmm, okay. But generally speaking, I do believe everything he says, and he said some very interesting things, and I can't wait for some of them to happen. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you because they are personal things to me. Um, but yeah, so do go along, and do go and see him um, after the show if he does a signing, which I'm sure he will. You can visit his website, which I'll put a link in the below bar to his website, where you can visit his... Um, website and you can see the, the, the true vision tour dates and things there's not that much left for this year but I'm hoping he'll come back here if not to Sunderland if not Sunderland then at least to Newcastle um, or hopefully Edinburgh but we'll see um, please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts if you've been to one perhaps you've conferred personally with Derek about things uh, I'm not asking you to go into personal details unless you want to but I would like to know I'm a very big spiritual person and um, any suggestions and things please let me know and I will see you all next time bye